then rest on people must have seen the three attackers coming towards that way with knives and everything. So I was, they're telling everyone like maybe I, mean, I, was, yeah, I was still tired. And like, yeah, yeah, I was you, just still there, like a bit oblivious to what's going yeah, on. Just still there, standing. We couldn't see nothing. Um, so that was all the commotion. Even then, when everyone was around. but then there was the three come up towards. So when the um, the girl from the pub went to shut the door, that is that's where they, like three three um, men were coming up with knives, um, things like. And they started to kick the door straight away. And you could, you could see him at this point? Yeah, mm. see him at this point this way. Even then, you're thinking, you've done nothing wrong. Um, you don't, last thing you think. Yeah, you didn't put two and two together at that time. Yeah, like, I mean, it's yeah. all quick, quick, uh, we're talking about seconds here, mm. where you think, I think, well, they're not looking. For, I yeah, exactly. I've done that. I've done yeah. that but, um, I mean, you I haven't think, done anything wrong. I don't think you had time to think. I mean, if you, if you did, you run, then obviously. You've done something wrong. Mm. <laughs> I'd have thought. Like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, look, why would someone, someone attack someone? you if you haven't? Yeah. Um, anyway, they come in, kick the door. As soon as they come in, they, they plunge that knife straight in my side of my um, chest. What? Well, no, they didn't they say nothing shout, to They started shouting about Allah, um, Islam, and all this, and, and what they do. Um, Akka... So, 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 how far were you? Were, I was, were you right, away by, the, from I was the right door? by the doors. Were you right by yeah, the doors? Yeah, right by the doors. So, and right, and there's a big like table there. I mean, it wasn't busy where we was anyway. And they've literally just come straight up to you. Uh, yeah, because I was kind of saying, bang, straight in there. That's when I livened up, off, and then the second, second one went straight in my stomach. What one of uh, one guy did it, or just all? Uh, the one guy done it straight away. Pulled it out, bang, straight in there. A quick succession, and then I've I've had to like fight. Um, I had to fight for uh, my life. You've then. gone in uh, to like a frenzy. Yeah, mm. well, a frenzy. Did, did you feel it? Um, the punctures. That I mean, that one was the only one I felt because it kept flushing. Um, that went flushing for a long time. That's the only one. Then all the time I felt. At the time, then I fight with him. Then the other one's joining, and he's stab like stabbing me. I mean, stabbing me all over the place, slashing me. me you got this massive. You had yeah, this massive. massive yeah, me and my I didn't know about all this. I'm just still fighting away. Um, the other one's come and help him. Um, we're fighting along. Um, but me, I mean, the story goes with me fighting them for about half a minute, 45 seconds. And, and then it must have been the third one. Um, must have, he's walked past us, but it's brought him back as well with tension. But he, he wasn't stabbing me, apparently, there was two knives different people used. But it's given them people, for me fighting, to stop them going into the restaurant bit. Let's give people that time to get out of there, which was the story afterwards. Right. I mean, I'm I'm still I'm still worried about myself. Mm. I'm not gonna be like, if I'd have slipped over, yeah. anything, else, I'd have been dead. Yeah. I mean, I'm lucky to be still here. What happened to the people you were with? They've already gone. Run, They'd run, they've already run, gone. Run run yeah. I mean, yeah. you're talking about five or ten seconds before that. I could probably be at your door if. Mm. Um, so it does. Those yeah. seconds do help. Um, it, yeah. I mean, so you've gone into this kind of like frenzy now of yeah. just um, fight fighting, for, fighting yeah, for your yeah, life, fight for your life, yeah. Which at the end, at the time, you, I mean, you, it's one of the things. It's just a split second. Yeah, is it? Yeah, like even after that first, mm. even after that first step, <laughs> you don't have time to think about running or this, or maybe you do. Mm. But I fight and and I, I well, really you, you, get away. Your back was probably a bit against the wall with that as well. Yeah, because... I, I mean, I broke. I must. I broke, um, in fact, we've broken rooms where I must have hit a table somewhere. Yeah. It might have been them, I don't know. But they've slashed, slashing me, slamming me. Okay, for them, I fought, not fought them off. I fought to get away from them in the end. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've been badly um, stabbed and injured. Mm. I finally did get away from them and got myself back around that the other side. Um, but what you also did is you took the attention away from other people as yeah, well, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. In yeah. the process, because from what I understood, there was, uh, f was it 47 people that got stabbed? And then, night? yeah, I think it was eight people died. Eight people died. Eight people died. 47. Which seven people were stabbed. Are you and obviously then, being one of them? Yeah, I was near enough the last one at the end. Um, in about eight minutes, they've done that. Eight, eight to ten minutes, they've done that damage. Um, so they weren't going to stop killing people. I mean, there was families in that restaurant there. Did they get to anyone else in the restaurant? No. Nah. No, literally straight to you. 
Oh, yeah, because you have to come through my door to go out and through the thing. Mm. So whether they, that, that bit there, um, yeah, if, they, if I got there and they'd got through, who knows what mm. they would have they they carried on. Yeah. Stabbing people. Um, yeah, not one, but it was two people who, I think it was Colonel Osgood, they hid the other way and it's somewhere else. So obviously they were, sit, they were sitting there watching me. Helpless. I mean, but then that's most of, um, I mean, in that area, you're probably talking about 99% would have run. Mm. Yeah, which they obviously did. Yeah, of course. Situations. Yeah. I mean, I've got to be brain dead or stupid to fight three people. <laughs> right? mm. But it, it wasn't like that. It's if, if you had that split second beforehand, yeah. you'd run. You, well, you didn't really have much of. Uh, you, don't have you, you don't have much of a choice, really, do no, you? And, no. and and you was already in the threat of yeah. the situation. I didn't so. see they, they had big long knives as soon as they were walking up. So so um, the the, the guys had knives strapped to their strapped to their wrists, yeah. and the reason for that is that so people because so I think I spoke to somebody about this and they said so they can't take the knives off. Of yeah, them. can't take knives. Drop the knives. The same with the bridges I've heard. Because they'd run up Westminster before that. Mm. So they build up speed. Right. So, yeah. Because I asked someone about, why is it always like the bridges? They knock them people down at bridges. It's to build up speed. Is that what it is? Yeah. I thought that a bit mad in London because... Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, you're in the you know yeah. the heart of it. I mean, as we now know, their plan was to go to Oxford Street that day. Mm. Their plan was to go to Oxford Street and cause the damage. Yes. Yeah, but insane. as you say, they must have been passing over London Bridge at that time when the football finished. And see all the crowds coming out. They went over the bridge a couple of times before. So, so, so before they went into the black and blue, they had essentially injured and they killed. They over, killed on the bridge, I think about three or four people. Then they smashed the van at the top of the bridge into um, the railings. And they got out. I remember that. Yeah. Because apparently they had all um, the petrol in the back of the van. Right, right. Things like that. But they got out the, they got out the van and... Whether that was intentional or not, maybe it's different, maybe it weren't. Mm. I don't know. I mean, the plan. Um, but they got out and they started stabbing people in different areas where the panic then starts. We're only like five minutes away from when the first bit was. A four or five minute walk, if that. But because we don't know nothing about it, you don't know nothing about it until it comes to your bit. Yeah. And then when you see people running, I mean, you were talking about as I come out of that. I mean, my, my, then obviously I went to the other side. And even that, even then, it looked like, I can't remember them because I'm pouring the blood. Um, and as I said, I come out by the doors at the back, at the best one bit. So you're, fight, you're fighting them and then you end up outside? Yeah, I actually, I, actually, I, actually run away. I finally got away from them. Did you? I mean, yeah. And did they chase after you? No, no. No. They, I mean, they was bang, apparently they bang on steroids, everything else. Um, how, how do you know that? We don't know if we like the inquest. The, the, the inquest, yeah. right, right. I mean, I don't know what steroids does here, and it, I don't know. Whether, yeah, but obviously it makes you feel um, a bit. Is it like uh, cocaine? Is it? Makes you, I don't know. Yeah, I've not, <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't I know. I wouldn't know, but it might make you like something, something <laughs> different. Maybe mm. you're so like thinking. But um, yeah, I must have my man and got out one of the doors, right, the restaurants, um, which, um, as I said, I don't know which door. It took me a while afterwards to get through. Playing the head, which door dug it out? But I got out of it. And, and this is like, and you, yeah. you've got all these cuts on you. You're, you're bleeding, point of bleeding um, all over the place. And then, obviously, I must have been, as I now know, I walking down towards where I knew the bloke, the other pub I was. I think I knocked on the door there, pouring the blood, but no one could let me in because every every door was locked. I remember yeah, it. I bet it was. I mean, it was like a ghost town. Was it? Yeah, well, I remember of. I mean, we're talking about then. From that attack, we're talking about two minutes after they were shot by police. Two, two minutes after that, they were shot by police. So I've come out of there. I'm walking down. I think I banged on the door and um, the pub I was, which was just across the road. Obviously, let me in. Then I started walking away, but I can't really remember because obviously I must have been coming in out of consciousness. I see a blue light, I think, at the end of the road. It was like a, a car ambulance. Um, I remember knocking on that on a, on a side window. What? Yeah. You got that far, did you? Um, it's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. It's, you... I do remember the ambulance thing because, um, and then there's a witness um, thing remembers me knocking on the window, and it pulled away for me. Right. I, yeah, pulled away, and like then, 
I mean, after that, I must have went in contact. Blacked out. Yeah, I must have might done. And it was only up the top of the road. That's when, because I remember the blue light, and I must have been right there. Then the police must have come and, and that's when I remember the word again, get down, get down. I must have supposed to be on the floor. And that's where the bang, the bang so loud. They're, say, they're saying to you, get down. That's what I think, yeah. Right. I do remember that. Yeah. Pushed me down on the floor. And um, that's when I heard all the firing. I mean, that firing, especially the market where it goes. I do remember them bits. You remember the noises? Yeah. Um, I mean, we're talking about coming so after the attack. So, obviously, they must have been so close coming to me again. Mm. Um, I'd probably be yeah, lucky that the, the firearms officers... Got there, there at the time. That, that quick. Yeah. And shot him right in front of us, or next to us. 